It's official, ladies and gentlemen. Rapper Tay K lost the race. He could not beat this case. After his boys popped a nigga, the cops didn't allow him to go out the way. Dash terminated. I'm Bushido Spirit. This is a one off. To this day! To this day! I'm tired of people supporting supervillains, defending these super predators. And before you get mad at me for using that phrasing, doesn't it fit? Doesn't this case merit the usage? Or does youth absolve all? Obviously not all rappers, just these actual murderers. So Tay-K was convicted of murder, not capital murder, meaning he orchestrated the situation that led to murder. He didn't actually pull the trigger. He could serve anywhere between five to 99 years in prison. Fuck, we gonna need Kim K on this one. Had he been charged with capital murder, a life sentence would have been automatic. According to Star-Telegram, Tay K's lawyers argued that their client only participated in the robbery, was not armed, and had no idea that people would be shot. However, if he had not staged the robbery in the first place, the victim would not be dead. His two accomplices have already been charged. The guy who pulled the trigger is serving life, and the other got 40 years for shooting someone else, but not killing them. I seen four people come in with guns and masks and hoodies, and then they came straight into my room. A survivor of the shooting, Zach Below, testified today he realized he'd been set up for the crime by a girl he thought he was dating. But uh, you know, luck luckily for Tay-K, uh, there's still a bunch of idiots saying free him. Hashtag free Tay-K. Might as well say free David Berkowitz or Dennis Rader. Wayne Williams. True, bad comparisons currently, but just give it some time. Or better yet, Wait on the sentencing of his other murder case. In this one, he's being accused of actually pulling the trigger. Amazing. But I do understand this is somewhat fucked up. Someone this young should not have this many bodies. But I guess it's the reason he's famous in the first place? I mean, he was placed on house arrest for this same robbery that he's now being convicted for. And nothing gets those creative juices flowing like robbery and homicide. Back in 2017, remember? He rose to fame when he cut off his ankle monitor and absconded from house arrest. He tweeted on March 26, 2017. Fuck this house arrest shit. Fuck 12. They gonna have to catch me on hood. Well, they caught him on hood. On June 30th, he released a music video for his signature song, The Race, which he recorded while on the run. He was apprehended that night in New Jersey. So this robbery indirectly affected the outcome of his career, like the actual robbery affected the outcome of that man's life. And there are numerous rappers out there right now accused of murder. YNW Melly, age 20, so young. He is accused of killing his two best friends and covering it up. He is also linked to the murder of a deputy. Hashtag free YNW Melly. Also Kodak Black, who purchased guns illegally to shoot up a rival rapper's crib while children were present and is still awaiting a rape trial. These the niggas we want free? Suck a baby dick, that's it. <sighs> All these quote unquote stars. Whether or not you believe these guys are innocent doesn't matter. This constant media attention for deplorable shit is not okay. We live in a society where black kids are treated as adults by the system while we excuse adults acting like children for perpetuating the stereotypes that take their lives. He was 16 when he did it, I don't give a fuck. This ain't just about him. So no, it's not hashtag free Tay K. It's fuck Tay K. Fuck Tay K. Fuck Melly. Fuck Kodak Black. Fuck 6ix9ine. Fuck Bobby Smurda. Hashtag Hillary was right. Nah, I'm joking. But she had bars, come on. They are not just gangs of kids anymore. They are often the kinds of kids that are called super predators. No conscience, no empathy. We can talk about why they ended up that way, but first we have to bring them to heal.